Hello, I'm Estelle Bailey, the Chief Executive of the Barks, Bucks and Oxen Wildlife Trust. Welcome to the annual review of our work for 2018-19. This is the third year of delivering our strategic plan, Be Part of Nature's Recovery. Our plan is designed to restore land within our three counties so that it is rich in wildlife, connect people and communities with the natural world, ensure more people value nature's benefits, partner with others to maximise our impact and build BBAT's capacity to deliver our plan. Over the last three years, we have made significant progress towards our five-year targets. We're now managing nearly 90 nature reserves, covering more than 2,600 hectares of land. These special places are natural havens where wildlife can thrive. Every three years, we step back and review the condition of our reserves. We can only do this thanks to the contribution of so many volunteers who have helped us survey the habitats and wildlife on our reserves and to help us to analyse the data. Let's hear from Debbie Lewis about the latest conservation report. Every year we have a huge army of volunteers who go out and do monitoring work across all of our nature reserves and without their help we'd not be able to collect any of this super important data. It helps us look at what difference have we made for wildlife? Are our management activities working? If we've taken the hay, has that benefited? If we've dug a new pond, what sort of species have moved in and colonised? And it also helps us look at long-term trends of different species so we can tell species that are going up and species that are going down and see whether that's a result of our management work or whether it's part of a national trend that's driven by external factors such as climate change. We ensure that our reserves and the wildlife within them flourish. We also focus our work beyond the reserves. This work is more important than ever as we have increasing development pressure on land in our three counties. This year saw work begin on High Speed 2. This is affecting our fine mere wood and Calvert Jubilee nature reserves. We are engaging with HS2 Limited and will not be facilitating any work on our land that might be harmful to wildlife. With a million new homes, a new road and other associated development, the proposed Oxford to Cambridge Expressway and the Growth Arc could threaten scores of wildlife sites between these two cities. This is why we commenced judicial review proceedings against the Secretary of State for the Environment and Highways England. Our case attracted a lot of encouragement from our supporters and the media around our arguments in the defence of wildlife. We will continue to stand up for wildlife across our three counties. Development is a growing threat to wildlife in Barks, Bucks and Oxen. Much of the immense challenge of responding to this falls to our three senior biodiversity and planning officers. Between them, they screen nearly 15,000 planning applications during the year, responding in depth to 138 of them while engaging with 28 local and strategic plans. We've seen that the planning system is broken when it comes to protecting wildlife and the natural environment, but we're committed to giving wildlife a voice. Communicating the importance of nature to key decision makers has never been more important as the next Environment Bill goes through Parliament. During the last year we have had 29 face-to-face -face meetings with MPs and Lords and met local councillors. As part of the Wildlife Trust's National Wilder Future campaign, BBAT supporters have also been writing to and meeting their MPs and local councillors. This has been a fantastic demonstration of how important the future of the environment is to everyone and how we can all speak up for wildlife. This year, our five-year heritage lottery funded Linking the Landscape project in West Berkshire came to an end. Joan Ayres looks back at some of the highlights of the project for wildlife and people. We engaged with over seven, nearly 7,000 people um, in our events and activities, our talks, our walks, say bat walks, you know, um, night jar surveys, you name it. 
The Linking the Landscape project was a five-year project funded by the Heritage Lottery Fund. We had three key aims within that project. Firstly, to work with and inspire local people. Secondly, to um, carry out practical habitat management works on sites and land owned, privately owned land that is next to or adjacent to our nature reserves to create those links and buffers to our um, important habitats on our nature reserves. And the third aim was to actually survey the wildlife at that landscape scale. So looking beyond our nature reserves into the wider landscape, how is the work that we're doing and that landowners are doing actually impacting the wildlife that we're trying to conserve? Probably one of the, the proudest um, achievements I think of the project is uh, the Teen Rangers. It's a nature club for um, teenagers, which is a really hard to reach age group. and. Um, and yet, so five year, beyond the five years of the project, this, this um, Team Rangers group is, is, is thriving, is going strong. The outcomes of the project were fantastic, particularly the surveying. We had a workshop to share the, all that learning that we had over the five years of the project with other land managers from wildlife trusts across the UK and other NGOs. So we had 50 land managers attend a conference where we were able to explain what worked well, what didn't work well um, and hopefully that learning will go on to inspire projects across the, the UK. Our work in West Berkshire continues and earlier this year West Berkshire Council renewed the grant for BBOW to manage nine nature reserves, commons and country parks and in the Nature Discovery Centre. Thanks to the generous help from funders including Grundon and Thames Water we've greatly improved the waterfront at the Nature Discovery Centre. There is now more space for people to sit and enjoy views of the lake and water birds, and we've made the lakefront more accessible to our visitors. Further afield, our work with landowners and local people to improve land beyond our reserves for wildlife continues with our Hedgerow Havens project, as Marcus Militello explains. <laughs> We're here in Whitchurch today uh, as part of Aylesbury Vale District and we're out here today creating a wildflower area. So we've got some local volunteers out today and right now they're taking off some of those annual weeds, those big thugs that will come in and shade out the plants we really want to see. Um, what, later on we're going to be digging over the ground and then we're going to be sowing wildflower seed to hopefully have a lovely little meadow patch here. Marcus came up with a plan. Um, he's come up with the flowers that would grow best in this area, um, that are suited to the wildlife around, um, that would grow in the, you know, the, the soil that we've got here. So he's come up with suggestions of what we could use. Um, he's funded uh, through the Wildlife Trust his time here, um, use of his tools, etc., which we don't always have, um, his expert advice. Uh, the funding of the seeds to plant um, and really the plan of how it's going to work um, and then Whitchurch Parish Council will then take on the maintenance of the area hopefully with the help of the community um, and it will continue to thrive. One of the things I've been really pleased about with Bebout is that they've helped me set up um, a local village wildlife interest group so we've formalised that um, we're now up and running, so I'm organising this, the infrastructure of that. But that bring, bring people together that want to do stuff with wildlife, like wildflowers, observing birds, bird counts, etc. In addition to that, um, obviously this project is the Hedgerow Havens project. Um, and uh, councils obviously manage a huge amount of hedgerow. Um, and it's just a matter of kind of making sure that we're managing that sympathetically for wildlife. That's not going in, trimming it every single year, stopping the blossom coming through, stopping the berries coming through. We want to be trimming maybe on a three-year basis, or we want to be hedge laying, preferably, or coppicing. These are all sympathetic ways and small changes that councils can make to make a big change for wildlife. Connecting local communities with the natural environment remains a key part of our work. This year, thousands of visitors came to our nature reserves, education centres and events. Connecting with people in this way ensures a greater understanding and appreciation of the natural world. The Oxford and Milton Keynes Festivals of Nature welcome thousands of people from both urban areas 
to experience wildlife firsthand through a series of events and wild fairs. Schools are a major focus of our ambition to instill a fascination of wildlife from an early age. Almost 12,000 primary school children visited our environmental education centres over the course of the year, while a further 955 were engaged via outreach visits to schools. Generous grants from charitable trusts ensure our Wild and Free Bursary programme continues to enable children from areas of high deprivation to access our education programme. Everything that we do depends on the organisation being financially robust, well-led and governed so that we can deliver our strategic plan. Much of the work that we're able to do is down to the generosity of our amazing 1800 volunteers. The amount of work that you do every year to help us protect wildlife across three counties is humbling. We can only look after our nature reserves and work for nature's recovery beyond them with the support of our members corporate supporters, trusts, foundations and grants. The natural environment is hitting the headlines like never before. This has been a big year for nature and wildlife, as more people are realising the importance of the natural world and the perilous state it's in. As we build on this momentum to deliver our plans, I'd like to say a huge thank you to everybody for supporting the Barks, Box and Oxen Wildlife Trust over the last year. Thank you for being part of Nature's Recovery.